and let's say hello. Hello. Enjoy the game. Oh, it just sent me a, ma a message back to a different live on Twitch. Yes, it does, because you are following me. Anyone who's following my account will know. <laughs> Alright, so this is deja vu of my last one, don't you think, Kendall? Well, let me be my last one. Was it my last one? I don't know. But the cube made a mistake, right? He kept playing here or something. Oh, gosh. Okay. What do you know about this, Kendall? What do I think about it? Yeah, this lower right Chiseki. What do we know? I don't know anything. Ah, well, typically we don't actually connect and play with the Chiseki here, is what, uh... Oh, you I do was... not. Yeah. We leave it hanging and take the open corner because it's larger than connecting. Because okay. right now he's got the framework on the bottom of the board. I've got potentially three corners. He can expand off the left, but it's kind of an uh, all your eggs in one basket scenario. Kind of spiel. <sighs> what do we have here, though? We've got territory. We've got the Tartaris I can take by connecting okay, again. One down. Why are you excited about a one down? I wanted to play a one Q. See, one Q plays one Q, but no. Uh, we'll make it up next time. Play, you play one Q next time. Unless this puts me up to two down, in which case I'm going to shoot you. I hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. You're black. It'll put you to one down if you win. If you win, you might not win. I think if I quote unquote lose, I would be quote unquote banned <laughs> from the quote unquote server. What's he going to do? He might do avalanche. Drop down. Take a huge framework to go with your other framework. Then we will have an influence game of epic proportions. Oh my god, you're listening to me. Are you on my stream? Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Undo. Sure. Mm. You know, um, Joseki? Yes, I do know Joseki, thanks. <laughs> Are you implying I that I shouldn't? Way. In your brain, you have, like, RAM. When you're playing a Euro game, mm -hmm. it loads Joseki into it. Mine's very small. Correct answer is C13. Oh, he knows the size. This guy, I tell you, man, this guy. He knows proper Joseki. I think I've studied more Joseki than I actually have ever played in a game. <coughs> I, don't, I don't load much up when I play games. Mmm. Things I want to do here. I kind of want to Hane, simply get fourth line because I'm greedy. I kind of want to do a small knight at G16 because I'm greedy. I kind of want to make a little framework on the top of the right hand side, but. Yeah. I'm going to approach. I'm going to clean my mouse too. My trackball, rather. My lovely trackball that I refuse to get rid of. I find myself misclicking when I use my trackball for... Well, for I've used trackballs for years. I don't misclick. Much. <laughs> Sometimes I have to clean it, and it'll go crazy, and I have to, you know, misclick. Uh, but alright, he's pincering me. Um, I will take the last corner from him, because he doesn't want it. Is my slurping very audible? Uh, <laughs> no. Everyone will love your slurping. I'd be like, bring back Inazuma and her slurping. It adds ambience. Mmm. Kinda like my squeaky chair. Can't have go without without squeaky chairs and slurping. Alright, so I've got the uh, corner now. He's got an impressive bottom side, but again, that's all he's got, so I'm not really worried right now. I'd like to see a good influence game where someone plays really good influence. He's gonna play good influence. I bet you if I give him a free move right now, which I'm tempted to do, but in the back of my head, I'm thinking, you know, Don level player, careful, you can't just derp against him. Maybe I should start reducing this a bit. Um, herp derp. You'll probably lean. Don't try to go influence, they just make choices that. Well, they just went through attacking. They don't try to just do random moves or anything. Well, that'd be crazy, because essentially what yeah. you'd be saying by actually wanting and setting up an influential game is you're 
willingly going down a path that you know doesn't have the greatest success rate? Not to mention it's discounting whatever your opponent's going to do. Yeah. Like, I'm going to take this large point away. No matter what you do. Since he's building up in the middle. He should invade my right hand side. He needs to be weary of what I'm having as well. Though at the same time, he's got to be careful. Do you know where the invasion point is on the bottom of the board, Kendall? I would play h5. Ouch. Think forcing, think forcing. M2? There you go. But I'm not too good at, like, that sort of thing. Well, um, let's look at it now, then. I have a question, by the way. Um, you know that lower left just at me? Uh, yes. And you can turn that into a colon later game, white can, mm. by just running. You can, but... Only, you can only really turn that into a co if b8 can't be played by black. As long as I can attach there, that double hane is, is meaningless. Okay. I've noticed that none of my opponents ever seem to ever It's risky. That. It's risky. White needs b8 to play there. Okay. So you have to somehow get that instant and if black's not paying attention, then maybe it'll work? Yeah, something like that. Okay, he's going to let me connect. Um, it's fascinating. Now, I did completely ignore him, which I should not have done, to do the thing you wanted me to do. So, let's go back and... I didn't want you to do that. I'm going to go back and protect myself before he seals that stone and kills it off. I was going to H5. H5... Okay, now we're getting aggressive. Cut point. So wait, you played M2. I played M2, yes. And you didn't yes. do anything after that. No, because I really no, should have responded. Perfect. I really should have responded to G17 before I did it. Because if he kills off that stone, he can extend on the right hand side very, very easily. This is kind of, you know, not so great. So it's more of a probe. I'm using it as a probe, yes. We will refer to that as a cunning probe. Not as my just responding to what you wanted me to do. <laughs> yeah, but yes, his... That was not my idea. Because his response idea. is correct to H, to M2. Uh, he could have done that, or he could have played super, super greedy aggressive and just dropped down at O2, but you can't kill it. As much as you might want to kill it and dream about killing it, you can't kill it. Because it can jump out, it can jump over to J3, it can do way too many things. If you play it... You're just, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? You're just playing really, really greedy, and it's just going to kill you. I mean, there's really no other word to use there. Uh, is that, does that work for him? Can't I put through and cut, and then he Atari's over, and then he extends up, and then I go up, and he attaches, and I don't know. What's he going to do? I don't know. Let's find out. Now, ba -dum, ba -dum, those small knights down in the lower left. Is there anything you can do there? Small Later knight, on? lower left, yeah. Well, maybe. Like, remember. Just the way it is without any extra stuff. Okay. Uh, remember, what do I have to be aware of, weary of, if I try to do anything in the small knights? Losing the B8. Exactly. So Possibly. if I try and do anything there, and I grant him B8, then suddenly I have that double Hane that's not going to be happy. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, sure gotta be careful. I should have pushed forward before I did that. I am so stupid. You, Atari. Thank you. Um... Do I need to do this? If I go here, he goes there. Then he go. I throw in. And then I can kill. So if I Hane right now, he's dead, unless the cut points do something. But the question is, do the cut points do anything? Uh, he cuts at P7. What, how, what do I do? Uh, cry like a little girl. I could do that. Um, I can't net. I can extend. What? 
you're thinking of playing away from that. No, group. I'm thinking about playing at P18 and killing the top. If I can play P18 and his cuts don't do anything, the top all the top is completely dead. Um, he cuts, I extend. This is gonna get ugly for me though. I cut, he extends. I should just live and let live. Like I did with all the other, with the Q players that I play. I should just live and let live. I shouldn't try to kill. Mm -hmm. But in the back of my head, I'm saying it's a Don. I should probably try and kill him. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Which one do I listen to? Teaching game, otherwise you're getting banned. Oh. Um, that makes it real simple. Kill? Uh, I want to read this out first, because the thing is, he's got a lot of Aji at uh, K15. That K15 runs me out for a very long distance, so if I've got to back off when he cuts at P17, then he gets to extend, and suddenly I'm not feeling... I think I can kill him. Alright, I can kill him, but I'm going to back off. I will do the teaching game route. Like, you don't have to kill when they're doing something like this. Yes, clapping. I thank you very much. <laughs> Now I need to start cracking the whip. I've only got 20 minutes. Now you need to do what? Start cracking the whip. 20 minutes. Oh. Then I should have killed him if you have to leave soon. <laughs> I don't want that running away, so I'm going to kill it. If you didn't want to influence your decision, it might be considered helping someone with their game. I see how that works. I wouldn't want to be... Yeah. Though, I have to say... Since you just mentioned you want to see someone playing a nice influential game, setting out to create influence I've always disagreed with because I hate playing those large gote moves. But games like this, on the other hand, where suddenly I have a huge amount of influence just because I fought something, those games I think are really, really cool. I uh -huh. like those. Yeah. yeah. They don't set out to just take, well, some Japanese pros do just take a whole bunch of large uh, gote points. And, and that's okay, I suppose. Not, I'm not saying it's bad or anything, um, but I prefer the fighting. It's so much more interesting when it comes from fighting. And he's trying to cut through me. Um, I don't know what to play now. I have to worry about my large knight. He wants to cut through it and do horrible things to me. But I want to keep him in the same time. What you just did to the top have to happen to me too. I want to keep him in. I think this might be an overplay, but I'm going to use it anyway. You think so? He, she. Yes. Jin Z B. Jin Z B. I don't know. Jin could be either name, male or female. You never know. He's not going to cut. Uh, 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 uh. He wants to cut me, though. I'm going to defend first. Ooh, and that threatens. That's it's going to kill off my uh, pro, but oh well. But it does threaten to cut three foot sente. Mm. It just protects a couple in sente as well. And that's worth it. That's good. In the grand scheme of things. I said this was threatening to kill something. He does have a lot of liberties. How are you going to kill that? Well, I guess he can't push through you. No, no maybe I can't push through you. Mm. Alright, you win that round. I can't actually do that. But I'm going to connect up in Sente. That's what we get for not reading. Reading? Who does that? Crazy people. Crazy people read. I can't ignore that, right? He Hanes, I Atari, he does something weird. Yeah, I'm fine. 
Let's just make this into a horrible yucky shape. Yucky shape, yucky shape. I want to cut. So bad, you don't even know. That's but if I ladder. cut, that's a ladder. So I can't do that yet. No. No, you can't. Now I can cut. This is starting to piss me off. Are we actually fighting over this? <laughs> Like, just... And remember <laughs> what you tell all your students, don't get tunnel vision. I'm Doesn't getting... Matter. I'm not getting tunnel vision, I'm getting red vision. Oh. You're raging? No. I'm seeing blood. Lots and lots of it. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a nice reduction. That is really nice, and I think kind of got away with something there. Well, it's because he didn't play the simple move and connect. Now, suddenly, we've got this huge problem where unless he can separate me with that cutting stone and get me a weak group, then this is a bad decision for him because he's losing all his potential in the middle while he's doing this. Yep, this is what I'm referring to. He's got to play this way. Yeah, otherwise he has no territory. Yep. So I've got four corners, and I'm getting in the middle. You have to live. All right, I want to extend. Can you just net that group? I can, and I'm going to. But first I want to milk this for all it's worth. Oh, oh. <laughs> Things just got very dicey. All right, let's make sure that they can't surround me. I may just have to be late for class. You're going to blame that on me, aren't you? <laughs> or, or I can drive fast and get a speed ticket. Yeah, your parents will love that. Mm, we don't have to know. This is why I wasn't going to play today. Or at least right, right now, anyway. Darn it, no, he doesn't want to die. Reason. You weren't going to play because you couldn't get a game with a one cube. There's that, too. Um, how do I kill this? I don't really expect a response, by the way. I could tell you, but that would be helping you. I can't kill it. I have no guarantee kill. He's out too much. Alright, so I want to extend up, I guess. Will this be your first legitimate loss? Only if I'm dead. Are you implying something with that? Let's see you live. Let's see you live. I would be I, I was just gonna to run. Get a solid rank. I All I'm gonna do is I'm, I'd still get banned if I if I actually lost to a one dom. The admins would ban me. They don't. How do they know? They know how my they rank. Know? I've been playing on this server since 2002. They know what I am. I know, but I mean they're that observant of what you're doing on another account. Well, I am, you know, kind of making videos of this, you know. Um, okay, so he's poking at me now, right? If I try and do something snazzy, like push through and, you know, change this around, he might cut through me, I have to cut through him. Um, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I'm in any danger here. I don't see a danger. I'm going to respond here. You're the one that's in danger. He's got a small knight. He's attacking me with a group connected by a small knight. I'm a little bit scared for you, but I think you'll be fine. Oh. I think it's cute that you're frightened for me. But now I'm fine because I just, you know. Okay, I'll back off. He can't keep attacking me. He's going to try though, isn't he? Of course he is. He's like me. Are you implying something? He knows what he wants, and he's going to try to get it without fail. Now, here's the question that I really want to ask. What is the problem with this style of play? He's not getting any profit. 
Mm, it's kind of what I'm looking for, yeah. Um, essentially, what I'm looking for is the fact that he's... Since the beginning of the game, he's put everything in one area. He's like, this is what I'm going to do. Right, and you've ended up with all the corners and a lot of fairways. Yeah. And that's what you get when you get someone who's doing influence like that in a very That's why a lot of way. professionals don't do it, because they know what they have to reduce, the center. There's no hidden information there whatsoever. It's like, I have to reduce this, and I'm fine. That's all I gotta do. I mean, this is the game. And I'm connected up. It's like macroing without any strategy. Mm, yeah, I guess kind of like that. You can get to, you know, your platinum players there, Kendall. That was just mean. I shouldn't have played that move. Yep, that's why I shouldn't have played that move. Oh, this is going to be so mean. Do you see it? Cutting him? Yep. At Q12 or whatever after you threaten this? Yep. Congratulations. Sweet and fired on. So now he can't save all of that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is the problem with uh, this kind of style. If you're betting everything on the center, if they live, you lose. It's hard to do it, though, unless you're really good. Like, it's hard to beat. Mm. Consistently? I guess you're making Not really. As long as you realize, as long as you realize, like, I don't have to reduce all of the bottom. I don't have to reduce all of the left and all of the middle. He can be left with something. Once you actually get back to that kind of patient mindset, the game's easy. That sounds kind of like not greedy. That does kind of sound like not being greedy, doesn't it? That's going against human nature. Everyone should play Go. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Can I teach him too? So this is now game over because he just lost the entire Why right side and top group. <laughs> Don't speed. My my uh, viewers like you in these videos. They don't want you dead. So if you would be so kind as to be careful. Well, it's either speeding or daydreaming about the end of the game because I won't have seen it. Don't what speed. And... Don't speed and don't daydream. You know how this game's ending. He's already dead and I'm alive. But you know how many times I've won a game and then lost it because of a stupid mistake. This is really straightforward. He's got X amount of liberties and I've got X times four. Like, what if he plays L16, and then you pass, or ignore it, or something? Because he thought it was over. It was not important. Never mind, that's right now. Hmm? What if he plays L14, and I pass, or, oh. Oh, there? Yeah, I, I'm not Something doing that. Something already taken care of. Assuming I don't start drinking heavily, Kendall, I'm not going to miss that my entire group needs to capture a stone in order to live. <laughs> and that's you having to leave. Okay, so he's got an eye there in the center. Or, not center, whatever, whatever this place is. But I can falsify this one, so I'm fine.
connect, I want to keep it nice and false. Um, let's see, things to be work. okay. Thanks for the game. How are you? Alright, All right, see you later, Kendall. Will you be reviewing? I will be. Oh no, you're one- oh, no, that's good! Yeah. That's good, that's good, that's good. You can play one cue later. And... Indeed. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. See ya. Alright, so reviewing the game. Um, I said this many times before. Should definitely take the opposite corner. Connecting here I view as a uh, bit of a bad thing. I don't like it so much. I mean, it is Jiseki, but I don't think there's really a reason to play out the Jiseki to lose a corner. This is like a bad exchange. I do agree with this one, though. I mean, he's got the influence. He wants to expand off it. He's playing all high stones. So sure, sure, sure. I, I can completely understand this. This, however, I think is supposed to be played here. And I'm going to extend again. And then I'll attach, he'll drop down, I'll drop down. Ladder works for him. He can drop down again. But then we're getting into this kind of a situation. So immediately it's very, very aggressive, which is why I played it. I've seen it in a couple of games. I haven't really experimented with it thoroughly. For all I know, that could be a really, really horrible thing to play. But it, it's been looking interesting in the games that I've seen so far. So I've been trying to use it a bit more on my own. Ideally here I'd want a corner. But again, he's kind of all in with this whole influence idea. So I can see why he played this. I thought about playing my favorite variation here. But I don't expect him to play this anymore. Because he's got that right hand group so strong. I would expect him to actually come out and uh, have this big fight in the center. Better bet thing is uh, territory on that, so I played down instead. This gives him sente, but I'm not going to get surrounded. I thought he was going to shoulder hit here, just to really try and build up everything. Or, it would be more important, I think, to approach my stone, my open corner. Because I want to reduce him, and I know he wants to expand, but at the same time, I want to keep developing, so I'm probably going to respond to this. Instead, he comes out in the middle, I didn't want to get both points. I mean, granted, I think I probably could actually allow him to do it, because if he wants to get into this kind of a fight with me... I think I'm fine because everything from this side is still open and we still have a weakness here plus a probe there so I can make more territory than he can in the center for the moment so I don't really mind. Like I mentioned, two variations to this. There's this one and essentially the one where you try and deny it but no matter how hard you actually attempt to, um, oops, not, let's, let's do this one instead, this one's easier. No matter how hard you actually attempt to stop this from living, you're not going to. Because here, for example, if you cross cut, alive, right? So we're not playing that way. And if we don't cross cut, then we're still alive. So you're not going to kill this on this board. On this particular board, M2 cannot die. So he realized that. I'd probably play here first, just to see how I respond. If I respond here, that has interesting possibilities, because now there's the cut. If I respond normally, then this might be easier to cut through later, at some point. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Got Aji there. 
Zaitz goes ahead and defends. I went back and defended. I thought for certain he would play here. He wants that influence. If I stay on the outside, he can maybe play a shoulder hit here. Or maybe even play this first. But he still can develop that center. Instead we get into a fight that I think is the wrong move. I think it needs to be here. I mean, I can't kill this. This is as severe as I can play against this group. And I know I can't kill it. I mean, even if I connect here. Right? I mean, I, there's no way to kill this. So how do you play it up high? Because if I actually back off fourth mine territory, it's not too bad for him, right? But I think that's, I mean, that's not good. Because I cut... Um, Hiatari, he can extend, I'm going to play here, he can play this a couple more times, I guess. Um, not again, or I'm going to turn. The attachment doesn't work, as far as I can tell, unless he wants to just get rid of it. But there's no reason to. So there's this again. And now I'm fine. So yeah, that high was uh, not good in this game, it looks like. Now he could sacrifice this. I mean, if I do play this kind of thing... Not too terrible. He'd live. So I kind of regretted playing that so soon. And this is still bugging me. If I were to actually go ahead and play here, it's a question of what is this going to do? If I back off and he plays this, can he actually kill this group with four liberties? And I want to say no. It's not going to be good for me. I mean, I have to back off here. But I think I can kill him. I don't think he has a. I don't think he has an option to keep me in and kill me. So I think those are gonna die. Unless I'm missing something there. I don't know. But instead, I backed off. Let him live. Let him live. Give him sente. Make certain that uh, you know, not gonna take. Though I probably could have. I could have taken like a large point over here. But then pulling these stones out are probably gonna be like one of the first things he does. So I just defended that, so he invaded. Not real threateningly, I would, I would even rather see this, which is threatening to cut through my large knight first. Or... Maybe a probe here to see how I'm going to respond, and if I play here, maybe try and get another move in before, you know, play anything over there. Because he should live with something in this area. This is such a huge area for black, that something here ought to live. And even now, for example, I'm fairly certain if he wants to, he'll just live as is. Of course, I'll probably do some kind of wrap around, and he might have to respond and make certain that he's got his life. So I'll have a bit of a large corner here uh, to extend out from. But I think it's still a game at this point. I don't think it's over by any means. This was stupid... So I thought that I could do something here that I cannot. Because, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll cut him and then I'll die. Oh, right, doesn't work. Misread. But I got to make his shape horrible as a result, and I still say he should just connect here. Um, oops. Instead, he kind of fought this. But the problem with fighting this is that he's not alive either, and I've already wrecked his shape. So his choices here are very slim. Uh, the Atari, I kind of like it. Puts pressure back on me. But he still needs to live. And now that he's done that, I can play this way. Right? Because this is fine. 
he's dead. So my group was always okay. Here he changes his mind. And now as long as he's got that cut point, I'm not really worried. Could I? No. This is a nice attempt to try to get something going here. And then I guess he'd play this to make certain that I can't connect. But yeah, this turn works. That's not Atari, so I can extend. And this is just me being mean, because I'm fine here. I can just play this and be fine. But I kind of saw that he's got a bunch of small knights here in the area. I mean, he's got small knight here. He's got small knights there. He's got small knights there. So I'm like, maybe if we have a little bit more complication, I can kill something. So I figured he'd do something, protect his shape like this. And then I was going to just, you know, call no joy and connect. But he fights. And then suddenly we've got a problem. He can live and he should. Just take the one eye here. Maybe, I don't know, I think he can live here. But after all this, yeah, that's dead too. And that's just the end of the game. So, that's yet another KGS series, this time against a 1-Don. I will not be playing another 1-Don or a 2-Don. I want to go back and play a 1-Q first because that's a rank I was meaning to play this game, but I kind of got it skipped by doing the auto match. Next time I, I do want to get into a 1Q one, uh, one simply because I don't have a 4Q, I think a 3Q, a 2Q, a 1Q, and a 1Don game, all uh, nicely in line with each other. So you can look forward to that, and then some more games against uh, some down level players, I guess, because that seems to be where I am now. So you can all tune in for that later.